Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this particular video, I'm going to be showing you and touring my Stream Deck profile, which will hopefully give you some nice ideas of things that you can add to your Stream Deck profile. I know this will give some people some cool ideas. You'll probably also watch it and think, mm, I would have done it this way. If you think of better ways to do some of the things that I'm showing here, please do comment below and let me know because I'm always interested to hear of better or new ideas so that I can steal them from you. So if you own a stream deck, you're definitely going to find this really, really useful. Hopefully a little bit inspiring. If you do like this video, make sure you actually hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and let's go. First up, a quick thanks to Owned.TV, who are my partners and are sponsoring this video. Please show Owned.TV some love. You may not know, but on Owned.TV, you can make sub emotes, sub badges. There's an avatar maker. You can even make trailers and gaming logos for your channel, as well as all of the usual stuff that you can get from Owned.TV, like stream overlays and designs. And the best part is, if you use code machine at checkout, then you get 50% off your order. Check out TV and let me know what you guys think. So getting into a tour of my Stream Deck profile. First of all, I've got my logo here, which I've used a wallpaper maker. These are all just basically hotkey switches, but I've not assigned an actual hotkey to them. Instead, I've just assigned a picture. I have got a video on how you can make these wallpapers. So anytime I mention something on this Stream Deck and I have a video of it, I will link it over there on a card and also in the description below. Also, if you don't have a Stream Deck and you're looking to get one, feel free to use my Amazon link below as well. You'll be supporting the channel if you do buy through any of those links and I'll really, really appreciate it. So these wallpapers are pretty cool. I really like them. It just makes them look really, really tidy when you're just kind of taking pictures of your rig or maybe when you're just kind of chilling out and not doing anything on the particular stream deck. So I've got this as the very top level. What I do have is this particular one here is actually a folder which I can click into. When I click into that, it has everything else on my stream deck. Now at this point, I've got some things that are kind of convenient. I use some things more than others and I'm just going to go through these one by one. First of all, I've got a little icon here, which is for games. These are all games that I can literally play on the Stream Deck. For example, I can play Pac-Man. Press the button. Now I can, I think, go, go, go left, up, left, up, up. No, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Go <laughs> All right, I'm rubbish at Pac-Man, okay? I didn't say I was good at the game, but yeah. This uses Bar Raiders game plugin here. I've not done a video on this, but I will do a video. So by the time you watch this, it might actually be a video all about how you can do this. It's quite a cool little time killer, and it's just a nice demonstration of what the Elgato Stream Deck can actually do. Next up, I've got a folder that just has some like quirky sounds, and I've put these into folders. For example, funny or edgy ones here. For example, I'm just going to press this button here. It just plays an MP3 sound, and it uses Elgato. Elgato's soundboard plugin, and I think this is just a standard plugin for Elgato. I'll click this and try it out. These are just weird things that I can use when I'm streaming if I want to. <laughs> And then to turn it off, you just press it again, the same button, and it will turn it off. This just gives me some options when I'm streaming just to do some, like, improvisation if I want. For example, if there's a business meme, we can do some motivational speeches. Okay, welcome to the Stream Deck Tour. You're going to really enjoy this, guys. <laughs> Man, this is so cringe. Next up, I've just got a simple Google website launcher here. This just launches google.co.uk. When I click this, we'll see, hopefully Google will open up. There you go. Instantly opens up Google. And it's just a really quick quality of life thing. This just uses a system key. This is a standard key that you get within the Elgato Stream Deck. So you don't have to install a plugin to use this. And it just uses the website launcher here on the right hand side, which is a system key and a default key that you get as part of the stream deck. Along a similar vein to this, I've got something that can just launch my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying the video. When I press this, it literally will just open up my YouTube profile in case there's something that I want to quickly reference while I'm streaming. If someone asks a question about something specifically, I can just quickly open up my profile there. I've got some really quick timers that I can use on this button here. So if I double click into that folder, it's got a 60, a 120 and a, what's that? 300 second timer you can define these and name them however you want to and this just uses again a default install on the stream deck called timer so when i press that 60 second timer it will start it and you can't see this but on the stream deck it's 
counting down. I'll, I'll just get my phone out and show you what that looks like. Next up, we've got another plugin called Bar Raiders Stream Counter. This one is just a button that I can press. It will count up. So if I'm doing something on stream that requires counting, I can just do that. And by the sounds of it, there's a noise as well. I don't know what the noise is. We can just count to our heart's content using that button. It's I've not actually used that much, but I probably should use it a lot more because it's a really quite a neat, simple little tool. Next up, I've got the Philips Hue here inside of a folder. I've just put a Philips Hue icon over the top of that, and I've got all different things that can change the lighting. Some of these are scenes. So, for example, a Philips Hue scene, and some of them are simply Philips Hue colors, pink, purple, blue, red, and so on and so forth. So if I just switch this to red now, you'll see the colors in the background go red, hopefully. There you go. Also, just an on-off switch as well. So that's the Philips Hue, just some lighting controls. Speaking of lighting, I've also got the Elgato lights here as well. So this uses the Elgato Control Center plugin, which is this one here. I'm not sure if that's actually a default installation on the Stream Deck. Let me check. Yeah, so this is not actually a default installation here, but you can do a search for it, and it's called Control Center, and it's the lighting plug in there that you see. And all this does is it allows me to change some of the temperatures of the lighting. I can make it brighter or darker and I can turn off my left, my right or my green screen light that I've got, which is just placed over there for when I pull a green screen down. All these images here are literally just, again, system hotkeys and they use the wallpaper tool that I mentioned earlier just to place this and make it look a little bit tidier. So really this is just an aesthetic thing. And this thing here just launches the controlcenter.exe so if I want to open up that file to make some like manual tweaks I can launch the file from there and this one is a back key I always have the top left as the back key next up Spotify button integrations if you check on the card over there and in the description below you'll see all about how you can set this up again we've got some hotkeys here that have got pictures assigned using the wallpaper tool but all of these are functional things that you can use on Spotify for example play and pause upping the volume setting volumes to certain specific levels or even muting or even copying information about the song that you're playing skip forward skip backwards but it's quite cool if you are using spotify and you don't want to be manually opening up spotify whilst you're streaming next up and again i've got a video about this so check the card and the description below but this is twitch integrations that i've got here and this is just various things that i want to do specifically for twitch so i've set up a folder i've put a twitch icon on it and there's all kinds of different things here like enabling emote chat i can clear the chat i can run the today command which is a manual command that i create for my stream telling people in chat exactly what's happening today so it just runs the today command there i've got stuff that will spam certain emotes from my channel although these are quite old but then i've also got some standard or pog champs that's the old pog champs emote but it will do the updated version of that because obviously it spams with text so we've just got some really quick quality of life things here that you want to do on twitch for example doing clips running adverts all that kind of stuff i do have some stuff to do with Streamlabs online to be honest i don't use these too much but i'm still using Streamlabs's alerts i need to move away from these actually but it just allows me to skip pause or mute the alerts or to launch Streamlabs online. We've also got a voice mod integration here with all kinds of different sounds. I don't tend to use voice mod all that much, but I have put some customizations here. So some MP3 files that are run from here or silly little sound bites that I've recorded. This one here is quite cool. It uses the Bar Raider speed test. And if I just click this, it will run a speed test of your internet on the fly on the stream deck it's pretty cool there we can see i've got a ping of six milliseconds 865 download 52 uploads and that was done at nearly half past two in the afternoon today on sunday this is a pretty cool button again this is a stream deck standard button we can just click this and it will sleep the stream deck so that will literally make the stream deck go blank you can't see it on here but my stream deck is now blank if you just then press any button on your stream deck it will wake it up here we've got a twitch view counter now i have also got that in here with inside the twitch folder but because i might want to see the viewers that the number of viewers that i've got i've also got it here within the main menu of my stream deck and last but by no means least this is my obs studio set of buttons that i've got now this looks pretty straightforward but i've got multiple folders that i roll into on this first page i've got the main things that i would use a lot of these are quality of life things and some of them i will cover in the video all about the quality of life tips that i'm going to give so i'm not going to cover all of these things in detail but i've got some discord things to mute and deafen i've got some performance mode stuff to change up obs studio performance mode enabling and disabling studio mode on obs studio we've got some laughing uh, mp3 files here so if i just want to create a sort of meme on the fly i can have some sitcom laughing <laughs> 
kind of useless, to be honest. Uh, I do have the emergency hate raid panic button, which thankfully I've never had to use. There are a lot of people that have done videos on how to create the hate raids. I think I might have even done a video on this myself. If I did, again, I'll link it on the card and below. I've got a button here which will run to open up the OBS EXE file, which will just launch OBS Studio to save me from locating that file. I can just click the button. Next up, I've got music toggles. This uses a GoXLR integration and this will switch the music for me so that I can hear it as well as my stream, but it can also make it so that I can't hear the music, but my stream still can hear the music, which is really useful if I'm playing a game where I just need to hear everything, but I don't want to turn off the music for my stream. This is a switch that will allow me to change and enable sources. So it's a multi-action switch here, and it will switch between my monitor view, so a display capture, and then an application capture in case I'm capturing a game or I want to capture what's going on on my monitor. So it just changes the viewpoint there. Also, if I want to have a video placeholder on my stream, this will run a multi-action to either switch it between a picture or a video. So all this will do is place like a video in the background of what I'm doing whilst I'm chatting to my stream if I want it to, or it will place a picture there instead. Next up, and this is the most complicated part of it, is all the different cam views that I've got. This gets quite complicated here, and a lot of these are multi-action switches where I've got loads of different things going on. And I'll just run through one of these to show you an example. This left reaction cam, this is just a camera view that I've got on my stream where I've got the camera on the left-hand side and then the monitor in this section here you can see that's the rough layout of it what this does is it will toggle off certain sources and it will toggle on the scene that that is active for and then it will do some other blurring and portrait mode stuff with the camera so it does all of those actions when i press it and that just means that when i move to this particular scene it looks exactly how i want it to do but i'll just go through some of the different things i have here we have a left reaction cam we have the one on right hand side we've got a portrait reaction here which is simply the camera in portrait mode inside of the full game capture on the left in the right hand side then we've got a horizontal view on the left and right hand side a top right a top left a bottom left a bottom right camera angle we've got a middle camera angle and then we've got full screen cam but then we've also got full screen cam with chat enabled so you can chat on the overlay then we've got starting We've got be right back end and then we've also got a view of my whole streaming rig finally i've got some other cool stuff here where i will enable or disable portrait mode regardless of what scene i'm on i will enable or disable corners from the camera regardless of what scene i'm on and then also enabling hand cam and also enabling epoch cam as well which is the mobile camera these are all some cool functions that i can do on my stream and at some point i'll create a video on how to create all these because some of those are really cool functions so that was a tour of my stream deck profile hope you found that interesting hopefully it gave you some good ideas if it didn't let me know of your own ideas below because obviously you're an expert right uh see you later